Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Fixing Stuff. All right, we've got uh, 2014 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter turbo. Hey, we're gonna re be replacing this water outlet. And what happened was it cracked all the way around here and exploded and coolant went all over the engine. Now, whenever I see coolant exploded all over the engine, I'm thinking a heater hose busted, right? Well, that's basically what we got here connects it to a hose a hose splits apart somehow dry rotted whatever whenever you got coolant sprayed everywhere that's probably the case all right first thing we want to do let's get this sensor off we got to push back on this red tab press down on the black tab and pull it off it was on there pretty good now we want to get this air intake hose out of the way we got a flathead screwdriver and we're going to loosen the hose clamp. This should be a pretty easy job today. So hose clamp loosened on the throttle body here. There we go. And that goes all the way down to there. We'll get it out of the way. It'll give us a little flex. All right. Now we can see our piece that exploded down here. We got the, uh, they put some hose clamps on to, to keep it from sliding off so they could drive it over. There was just a little bit left on there. And we got a little clip here that takes that off, blah, blah, blah. We got a coolant bucket underneath the vehicle. And the one thing you're gonna need for this job that you might not have if you have a basic socket set is a set of E sockets. They're inverted Torx. They don't cost much at the store. You get a set of these for like 10 bucks. You're gonna need one of them. So we start taking everything off. This little sensor that's kind of in the way here. Um, we got a little sensor down here that goes to our new water outlet. We'll pull that off right now. They wire tied this hose so it stays up in there. Hey, whatever works to get it over here without paying for a tow, right? Pop this clip out. It just comes right out, this clip. And that's gonna take our upper hose off right there. And we're just gonna shove that back out of the way. And we got our coolant coming out of the engine now. Make sure our coolant bucket is catching everything. Looks like it's in a good spot. We'll start taking this next hose clamp off the top of the water outlet. And just let that coolant drain out and do its thing. The only pain about this job, I'd say, is getting to that little guy, that hose on the back of the water outlet. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, right now we got another hose clamp. We got another uh, wiring harness here. I don't know if I want to take that off or not. We just probably just leave it right where it is. We got this other hose clamp that's on the uh, radiator hose. Let's loosen that guy up. And these hoses don't usually like to come off. You got to grab them with some pliers and spin them after you loosen them, uh, the hoses. So let's grab some pliers. We'll just grab onto here and spin a few times. Once it gets nice and spinny, should pull off. Boom. There's one hose out of the way. Now we gotta cut this wire that they put on that makes it kept the hose on. Pretty smart. <laughs> it's pull, constantly pulling the hose forward. Here's some cutters. We'll pull this hose off. It was just barely on there. Hose clamp. We'll throw it in this bucket. Oh, 
that's on there. Let's see if we could just cut it off. Ah, went flying that way, that's good. As long as it's not in the engine compartment. Cut it right here. Get it out of the way. All right, now all we have left connected is this one pain in the butt hose clamp right here. I hate that those styles. We might uh, trade it up for uh, for a different one. And it might be easier to take the whole outlet off and then take that, ho that hose off. You know what I'm saying? So let's figure out what size e-socket we need. I think it's going to be this guy. My hands are so slippery I can't get them out of the rubber set. There we go. All right, here's an E8. E8, let's see if that's the size. Nope, we gotta go bigger. We're going to an E10. E10 fits right on it. We're gonna need a small extender and a 3 8 ratchet. Right here. use a double wobble. They're little wobble extenders. I freaking love them. Oh my God. We want to get the hardest bolt first. There should be three of them. Yeah, the one on the bottom. Always go for the hard bolt first, guys. Leave yourself something easy to finish with. And let's see if we can get it on there. There we go. It's hard when you can't see what you're doing. You can't see that bottom bolt. You gotta, you gotta kind of feel for it. All right, I got it loosened. We're gonna try our best not to drop it. That always sucks. When you gotta go fishing for a bolt, you feel me? There's the geese flying south. What's up, geese? What's up? I don't think it comes out. It hit something right there. All right, next hardest bolt. I just got me this headlight the other day. How have I gone all these years without a headlight? Probably just didn't want to look dorky. It's freaking awesome. I can see right what I'm doing. It even swivels. So cool. There we go, it's nice and spinny. And there we go, yeah, the bolts don't come out. They kind of stay in there. They will not come out all the way. And that's fine, the new wa water outlet comes with those bolts. They're kind of like built into the plastic. All right, now our easy bolt. And this whole sucker is gonna come loose. We're probably going to lose some more coolant, of course. Hard to take these bolts out by hand when your hands are so freaking slippery. There we go. Coolant's running all over the place. Now we got to get this clamp off that I hate, but we can actually swivel the whole apparatus around. I'm thinking some angled pliers are gonna be the go-to for these clamps. Like this, some of my favorites. I'm gonna get in there. 
try to squeeze the clamp. Oh my God. There we go. We got it. And I'm going to get rid of this clamp. I hate them. There we go. Our water outlet is out. Like that's all there is to it, bro. Pretty easy job. Water outlet was only like 27 bucks. Comes with a new gasket, new sensor, everything. 20 some bucks. Can't beat it with a stick. Grab a little hose clamp out of the spare hose clamp bucket. I just out of experience, I don't want to fight. I just don't want to fight it. I ain't running way low on hose clamp. Super low. This looks like a good one. Same story, reverse order. All right, we want to get that guy in first because it's our toughest one. Put our hose clamp on in a way that's easiest to get to, and we'll use a uh, socket instead of a screwdriver. I think that this hose clamp is going to be an eight mil. Yep. We'll get a long extender. Just make our life easy. And for my quarter inch sockets, I love to use an adapter so that I can use my quick ratcheting dude on it. go there eight mil time to put this clamp on oh my god you gotta be freaking kidding me the eight millimeter just fell right out of the extender i forgot that was the extender that's loose at the end grab a different extender hopefully we can fish that eight mil socket out of there later Tighten this clamp up, bro. So, we're just going to put this one hose on, and then we're going to tighten our three E bolts down, and then plug everything together and tighten the clamps up. I'll show you what happens at the end. All right, here we go. We got everything connected. Bada boom. Uh, there's a couple of hose clamps here and here. Hose clamp in the back, three bolts going in. Make sure you got all your sensors. Everything hooked up, red clip snap back in. Now, where that outlet mates to the head, to the block there, the metal, make sure that's nice and clean before you put the new one on. You might have to clean it up. And besides that, we're gonna fill it up with coolant. Already did that. Got a little over the max because it's going to suck a little down. And this thing is going to totally bleed by itself. So just take it for a drive up and down the road. Get it up to temperature. Let it completely cool off. Never open this cap while it's hot. Let it completely cool off and then top off your coolant and you should be good to go. You might have keep an eye on the coolant for your next drive too just to make sure it's full. I'm going to go take this for a drive. Let it cool off. Take it for another drive, let it cool off again, check the fluid level, and uh, check for leaks on all your hoses and your new seal there. All right, thanks for watching, guys.